Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the comments, uh, the subscriptions, and uh, the views uh, on my recent videos. Much appreciated. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. It's not about footage that I've taken on my drone, uh, but more about, uh, I guess, really diving into the hobby uh, and uh, changing the aesthetics uh, of my drone. I've been doing a lot of research, um, and especially into um, the, the new uh, regulations. Uh, the more strict regulations. Now, luckily for me, uh, the DJI Mini, because it's sub 250 grams, uh, it's got, it's got a lot more freedom uh, than most drones. But one of the one of the most important rules uh, out there at the moment is line of sight and making sure that uh, your drone is all visible uh, to the naked eye. Um, so I've been looking uh, at uh, ways of how to um, been able to let my drone go a bit further, but keeping uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, and I came up with um, basically uh, changing the color uh, of my drone. There's lots of skins out there on the market, um, but uh, the one uh, the one skin manufacturer that, that keeps coming up uh, as highly recommended is known as Wrapgrade. So uh, they they offer two options. One is to have you know your drone fully skinned, and the other one is to have uh, your drone partly skinned. And I've gone for the uh, the partly skin option. So today this video is just about. Uh, uh, the uh, the reason why and, and I guess more importantly the before and after photos uh, or videos of uh, of the drone and what it looks like. So this is the accent color from from Rackgrade uh, arrived today from Amazon. I've gone for the uh, the gold color. Uh, the picture there is uh, one of red. There are multiple colors uh, available uh, from their um, from their website. Uh, Amazon uh, supports them uh, quite nicely and dead easy to buy. And as I said, uh, I've only gone for part color on my drone. Versus the full the full skin layout because uh, yeah actually I quite like the uh, the uh, annotations of the Mavic Mini uh, on the arms. So uh, this is my Mini uh, before uh, I apply the grade and then uh, I will show you a picture after and uh, I hope you like it. I hope I like it as well. Thank you. So there we have it. Uh, Forty five fifty minutes later and uh, the wrap uh, is on. Um, it looks absolutely awesome. I'm really pleased with uh, with with uh, how it's turned out. Um, the great thing for me is the uh, the colour that I've chosen really reflects the light nicely. So when it's up in the sky, um, the base I can see it, the legs I can see it. So it's going to make uh, the line of sight, the visibility of the drone uh, that much more apparent, which is absolutely awesome uh, and allow me to uh, fly for a bit longer, um, especially when it starts to uh, to get nicer out there. Uh, if you're thinking of doing it, I would highly recommend it. I would recommend the, the accent. Um, I, I didn't want to go for the full colour on the drone. The other advantage is that it obviously keeps the, it's lighter and it keeps the drone below uh, the 250 uh, gram limit as well. Um, and uh, there's various colours uh, to, to look for. Uh, if you are thinking of doing it, a couple of tips from me. So one is two sets of tweezers. Try not to use your fingers. Uh, the natural oils from your skin will affect the wrap uh, and may uh, may affect the uh, adhesity uh, of the wrap. So I've used uh, two sets of tweezers if I can. It is really fiddly and you've got to take your time. You've got to have a lot of patience. There's only uh, eight parts of this. So you know, it's doubled up 16 uh, bits of wrap that you need to take off and, and put on. Um, you probably could do it in, in 20 minutes. Um, I would highly recommend that you just take your time. Um, the hardest bit for me um, was uh, putting it on the uh, the battery uh, battery door, uh, just the way that the, uh, the the shape of the door the door and the way that it folds down uh, posed quite a few issues. Uh, the base actually was quite quite simple to do. I thought that was going to be uh, quite difficult, but uh, I'm really pleased with with how it's turned out. Hopefully, you find this uh, this video useful. As I said, it's a bit of a different video. Uh, no. Um, no photography, no films today. Uh, what I will do though is I'll put some uh, good quality pictures at the end of this video just so you can see how my drone's turned out. Um, I'm really pleased with it and uh, if you're thinking about putting a wrap onto your Mavic Mini, hopefully this uh, helps you uh, make the right decision uh, for you. Thank you guys and uh, see you soon.